In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to add hover effects in Adobe Muse CC. So let's begin. Okay, so this is the effect that we're going to be working with today. As you can see, when I hover over these circles, they become a different color and a different shape. Okay, I created the site specifically for demonstration purposes. And uh, so I'll, I'll show you exactly how I did this. And I'll do that by opening the project file. This is the project file right over here. As you can see, I have uh, the different circles over here. I've, I got these icons from um, flaticon.com. Uh, and I'll show you. So you go to flaticon.com. You can select you know, any icons you want, download them, and download them at different sizes and use them in your projects. It's a very useful website. Okay, so I'll show you uh, how I got this effect going. So basically I started off, um, let me delete these circles and I'll start from the beginning. And I'll delete the, the guys as well. So we'll start just with the picture. Yep. So, you know, I inserted this picture and, you know, I added some text here and uh, with some background. Uh, so, what I first did was I added the circles. So to do that, we, we pick the rectangle tool over here to the left and we draw a square. I think the square was 150 by 150. If you hold down the shift when you're creating the square, it'll create a perfect square. Okay, and I'll place that right there. And to make this a circle, how we do this is we go to the uh, the the radius tool which is right up here if you can see these four different corners and if you click on the corners it turns them into rounded edges okay now if we look at the uh, square it's now has some rounded edges here and the rounded uh, edges are at the radius is at 10 so if we make it a hundred we get a circle 100 makes it a, a perfect circle and we don't want to stroke on this so we just go to stroke and say none and now we have a circle here and that's what we're looking for so I'm gonna copy the circle to the different areas so my idea was, was uh, with this website was to have you know different circles on all of the bottles here in the sand and the idea was broken bottle recycling so having you know, like this would almost be like the menu for the site or just a different way to access different parts of the website. So you had, you know, a, a clicking option here, 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 and here on the different bottles. Okay, this one I want to make smaller. Um, so I'm going to hit shift and make smaller. I'll say 100. Okay. Right there, so you can see it on the bottle. It's not covering the whole bottle. And this one. That's pretty good there too. And this one, we'll make this one a little bit smaller, maybe 75. Oops. We'll do a 75. Again, I'm holding shift to keep the uh, the width and height the same. Because we do want a you know perfect circle. We don't want the circle to be like, you know, an oval. Okay. And then we'll copy and paste this here. Alright, that looks pretty good. So we have five circles. Okay. Now my idea with was with this was to, you know, on the white make it this bluish color and on the blue make it this white color. So we can still keep kind of the same color theme on these bottles. So the way I did this was I clicked on the circle uh, where it says fill. You just click on the color drop down here and we pick the uh, sample color tool. You just click on that. And I just I want to sample this white here. So I click on it. And now it has kind of that similar color as these bottles here. It's more like a light purple, but that's okay. Kind of keeps the, the color theme of the site going here with the picture. And so now I want to turn the this blue and this blue, uh, this, this color here, we just changed the circle. So to do that, 
uh, just select this circle and if you want to select two circles at the same time you hit shift and then click so now both of the circles are are selected and then again to change the color you pick the sample color and I'm going to sample this circle now okay and you can see that now both these circles are this color now for the, the white I'm going to select this circle and this circle by holding shift after I select this one I hold shift and then click on the other circle I have these two selected and then I'm going to go back to the fill sample color tool and we'll pick this blue right here we kind of have a you know a back and forth of the blue and white idea with these bottles and these circles okay and then I also you know made this text kind of this blue in the background kind of this light purple or white um, I believe the, the bottles are supposed to be white but it kind of comes out as kind of a clearish purple type of idea but you, yeah you get the idea it's kind of working with the colors here all right so now what I did because um, I wanted some icons on these uh, buttons oh actually what I can do first to show you how I did the hover effects we'll actually get into that and then I'll put the icons on on the um, the circles so what I want this to do I want you know to me recycling has kind of like a green theme um, you know and feel free as you're designing to you know work with your own designs but for, for demonstration purposes what I want to do is when you hover over the button it turns green and it turns into a square so so uh, what I'm what I'm gonna do now so I only have to do this once is select all the circles or let me do it on one and then I'll do it on four so you can see how it's done on just one it's the same as doing it on four but I'll just show you one first alright so I select the circle and then uh, you can either go here to the right where it says states or you can go up here where it says rectangle and it, where it says normal it's the same thing um, you can click here click on rollover or you can you know click here in the states sometimes it's easier in the states because it's a bigger window and you can you know go back and forth from normal to rollover when we have when we clicked on rollover we can change this circle to anything and when you roll over it on normal it's going to be the circle and then when you roll over it, it's going to change into that other state that you wanted it for uh, that you um, made the changes for so I'll go ahead and do that we want to make sure we're on rollover because now we're going to work on the rollover state and we're going to change the color to this green or kind of this green right here and we're going to take off the rounded edges so to do that you just go back here to the rounded to the rounded edges tool or button and we're just going to click on each one and this disables the corner radius and now it's a square so as you can see in the state um, the rollover is now a green square and the normal is a kind of bluish or pur light purplish circle and you don't really have to worry about these um, un unless you're linking uh, you're linking these uh, then you can change the state of the mouse down I believe that if you change the state of the mouse down it changes the rollover as well so let's let's just try that to see how that looks okay and we'll do 100 all right uh, it didn't actually so you can change the state of all all of these you can do normal rollover what happens when somebody clicks on the button and when the button is active okay so if we preview this in the browser by hitting command shift E you can see that when I roll over the image it turns into a green square if I click on the image this is called mouse mouse down it turns into a circle it's kind of a cool effect um, so we'll just kind of leave it there you know again these are this is just for demonstration purposes you know feel free to get really creative with this and uh, nice and if I was let's say if I had linked this image or this button to this picture and I clicked on the button you know and I had an anchor here this button would know that I'm on that anchor and would turn into the active state okay um, so yeah active state just means that this button is active or um, usually you won't 
you won't always see the active state unless you're like in a menu. Like a menu will show an active state uh, if you're on that page. Like the button will be different if you're on the page that you clicked on. And it's like the active button or the active page that corresponds to that button. Okay, so that's pretty much it for you know hover effects. Now what I'm gonna do is select all of these. And I have all of these circles selected. And what I'm gonna do is click on rollover. Again, I'm gonna pick the color, it's this green color here, and I'm gonna take, take the corner radius off. So now they're all squares. Now if I go to my website, I get that green circle when I hover all over all of these circles. Okay? And that's it for hover effects. Now I'm gonna go into showing you uh, how I got these icons onto the buttons. So I'm gonna go to my folder and I'm going to go to videos here, hover effects, yeah. And PNG, you can download these as PNG, that way they have a transparent background and you can work with them um, on any over any picture or any items you have on the website. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop these images in. Okay, we'll have this guy here. If you notice, they're black, and I'm gonna show you how to change that in a second. And let's put this one in here. And this one, just put that in there. And you can resize the uh, the icons and oops. And this one. Alright. There we go. So to change the color of these icons, it's actually a really cool tip that I learned from watching another YouTube video. Um, his name is Joseph Tadero, I believe, but he gave me a really good tip which I want to share with you guys and um, you just click on the icons. So I'm gonna select all of them by hitting shift and clicking on each of them. And then you go to effects, you go to the glow tool, you click on, gl uh, you click on glow right up here and you see it gives it a glow and we want it to be an inner glow and the opacity set to 100 and the blur set to 250, which is the maximum. And voila, the icons are now white. And you can make it any color you want. You can make it red, purple, you know, any any color. So you can basically take any icon, if it's black or white or any color, and change it into a different color by giving it an inner glow and setting the inner glow to maximum. It's just covering the whole image inside with that inner glow and changing the color of it which is a very useful tool so you don't have to go into Photoshop or Illustrator kind of change the color you can do it right in Muse yeah I'll just give it this orange color or yeah I'll, get, I'll make it white so it looks nicer with the site and that's pretty much it if you notice down here I did the same but I just made them blue these icons are similar to these up here I just made them blue so if we preview this in the browser you have a nice hover effect over these icons. The icons are white. They look nice with the website. They could use a little more contrast, but it looks okay for, for these purposes. You know, might make it a, maybe a blue color or something, something so that um, it all looks really nice. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.